What the hell? Stay. Stay. Fred, stay. Stay. Wow. Well, that's a horse of a different color. Don't see that every day. First two I've seen, other than was at the zoo. Oh, cool. Pretty cool looking. We could get one for the clinic. Yeah, yeah, we have one in the backyard. Right. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you, I'm Maddie. I'm Dr. Nichols, nice to meet you too. Zebra, it's a species I've never worked on. Yeah, this is a new one for me. Yeah. <laughs> Who have you got here? Uh, so this is Xena. Okay. Xena is about a three-year-old mare. Um, Zeus is about one year old. He hasn't had as much training, obviously. Yeah. Okay. She is more the more sensitive one, generally. We are here to hopefully get Xena and Zeus vaccinated to be able to um, come get vet work so close. I mean, it's like a 10 minute drive, it's awesome. Um, because last time I had vet work done on Xena, I had to drive um, up to Colorado State University, which was about a six or seven hour drive. I got my first zebra about two years ago. And basically my grandfather was um, very passionate about exotic animals. And he actually had zebra and buffalo in his backyard growing up. Yay. That really kind of, I think, got me interested in it and kind of keeping up um, with his legacy in a way of him um, educating the public on the animals. It's just an unparalleled experience, I think, to build appreciation in younger generations and, and generations to come. Zebras have to have very specific vaccines because she does an educational program with them and they're supposed to be given and administered by a veterinarian. Dr. Nichols grew up on a horse ranch. She feels much more comfortable than I do. Uh, so I let her. Well, I think we'll do a sedative before we vaccinate them so they're a little quieter. Zebras are certainly in the equine family, but they have much more wild tendencies. You know, you worry about getting kicked or bitten. So although we're just vaccinating them, we're taking some precautions by giving them a sedative first. Well, we can just kind of work together here. If you think it's better for me to just stand in front, uh, yeah, we can try it that way. Okay. Okay, ready? Good, Zena. Good job. So like, wait a minute. Very nice. <laughs> Do you have to have a special permit to have them? or You don't have to have a permit um, to own them, but to exhibit them like I do, you do. Is it all right to tie her up fairly tight? Okay. Are right, you telling me when you're ready for me to go? Good. Good. Very good. <laughs> He's like, wait a second. Very good. All right, well, we'll just have them hang out here. OK. So these are their core vaccines. We're vaccinating them for Eastern encephalitis, Western encephalitis, West Nile virus, tetanus, flu, and the herpes viruses. Our sedative is working. Yeah, so he nice. seems yeah. pretty sleepy, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, you did so good, kid. Whew. One more. Good job. Man, they do hate the needles, though, don't they? Yeah. They really can be dangerous. You have to be careful even doing something as simple as a vaccination. Oh, I got half of it. Now we got another half of it in. You got it! Yes! We're done! Ah. So we've got the vaccines done on both of them. Well, that's the best it's gone. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, you did awesome. Thanks. I just so appreciate yeah. your patience and your... Oh, sure. If they're this reactive through the drugs, I can imagine <laughs> they can be pretty exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, without... I am really, really happy with how it went. There's some days where it's like, what have I gotten myself into? But at the end of the day, yeah, I wouldn't trade them for the world. They're awesome. I never thought when I was younger, when I was in vet school, that I'd be vaccinating a zebra. I feel very lucky to have had this experience. Good. Good job. End of the day, uh, good clinic, good day. Space a little tight, but we made it work. It's a good day. I felt the clinic went really smooth. 
we ended up with like 21 cats and 15 dogs and a couple of zebras and a few extra lumps. So uh, we, we do what we do, you know, and uh, it was definitely worth coming over. Colorado's an amazing state, and uh, I really like to think that we help out wherever we can and whenever we can. And I've done over 40,000 surgeries in the western slope of Colorado and spent a lot of time over here. Yeah, Hector and I used to come over about every five to six weeks, and that's just one of our favorite places to run. Come on, Fred. I keep this pace for hours. Why are you in front, Jeff? <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, we know that never happens. Batman's always in front of Robin. <laughs> <laughs> just being out in the quiet, uh, you know, jogging along with Hector, it's, uh, it's just real relaxing. And it's really good for the mind and the soul. So it's uh, just beautiful. Come on, Fred. Come on, Fred. 